Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to make a regular cut file into a print and cut file. So I have an image already selected from the Silhouette store. This is by Sarah Bailey and it is, I think it's called Real Catch in the Silhouette store. And the first thing I'm going to do is right click on my image and ungroup it so that I can work with each piece individually. And I don't want any of these pieces that are inside the square to actually cut. I want them to print. So what I'm going to do is select each piece and fill it with a color using the fill color window at the top right hand corner. So first I'm going to select the fish and I'm going to make him orange. That's a little too orange. All right, that's better. I'm gonna take my heart and make that yellow. We have another heart here. This one, if you look at the thumbnail in the Silhouette Store, it's part of his tail. And one more heart that I'm going to make pink. Now they look very, very similar um, here on my screen, but they'll print a little bit differently. Now this right here is actually his eye, and you can see that it filled orange with the body of the fish. To fix that, I'm just going to right click and I'm gonna go and hit ungroup again so that I can select his eye and make it black. Now I'm done filling in the color with the fish and the hearts in his eye. So what I'm gonna go and do is click each one of these pieces and while holding down the shift key, I can select multiple pieces. I'm going to go to the cut line at the top and I'm going to select no cut because I don't want it to cut but there's still a faint red line here so I'm going to select the line color window and I'm going to say no color so the color is gone as well and I'm going to do the same thing here to the where it says your real catch I'm going to select the a real and the your here by holding the shift button down and clicking it I'm going to make that brown oops I'm in the wrong menu I need to be in the bucket where it says fill color I'm going to make that brown And same thing with the line color, turn it off. We don't need a line color. And same thing with the cut. We don't want it to cut, so we're gonna turn that off. And same thing with the catch. We're gonna repeat the process again. So I'm gonna go to the bucket, and I'm actually going to fill it with the same orange color that I used for the fish. Go to the line color menu, say no color, and also go to the cut menu and say no cut, because I don't want it to cut. Now you can see all my pieces are colored in and I can still see a faint bit of red right here. So I need to go in and tell it not to cut. And I need to turn that line color off. So now I can assemble my card the way I want it to look. So I'm gonna put his eye up here. This little heart is his fin. And you can see it disappears to the back. So I'm going to right click or I dropped it and I shouldn't have. So I'm gonna right click on him and I'm going to bring this piece to the front so I can see it. So I can bring this guy back, put his fin there, and I'm gonna do the same thing with this heart because I have a feeling it's gonna disappear as well. Yep. So I'm gonna right click and say bring to front and fill that in there. And I'm going to drag this heart so that it's in the middle of the O. And this looks, the goal, or my goal, was to make this look just like the thumbnail. That's what made me fall in love with this design. Now, I'm all done building this portion of the card, the, the print part. So I'm going to take this guy up here and make sure he's nice and centered. So I'm going to right click and group this piece together and then draw a box around the URL catch and group it together. That way I can draw a box around everything and make sure it's centered using my align window. Now, on to the actual base that it's going to print on or the part that's going to cut. 
I'm going to use this box here, except I'm going to size it so that I can put it on the front of a card. So I'm gonna go up to the top right hand corner and select the scale window, and I'm going to change it so that it is four inches wide by uh, five and a quarter. And then I'm gonna size this, this piece. appropriately now if you hold down um, the alt or the option key on your keyboard it will scale in, pro in proportion and I'm going to do the same thing again using the align window I'm going to draw a box around everything and then click align and center it and I also will align metal so that I know that it's perfectly even now for the actual um, cutting part for the print and cut. I know this confuses a lot of people. What you need to do to print, to do the actual printing and then the cutting is you need to print this image using your printer, but you need to turn on the registration marks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say show registration marks, but I don't have a 12 by 12 printer. So I'm also going to have to go to the page options and change this to an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. So I'm good, I'm not touching any of the uh, hatched out area here. So I'm going to send this to the printer, but before I do, I'm going to click on this box and I'm going to turn this cut line off because if you try to print now, what will happen is this red line will print and you'll be able to see it on your final project. So I'm gonna send this to the printer and cut it out using my silhouette. So here's a look at the final product with a little googly eye and I'm off to make a hundred more. So as always guys, thanks for watching.